Hello there, welcome back to my channel. It is of course Chelsea of She Designs Things. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five tips and tricks to making your website process, no matter if it's a Google site or otherwise, easier. So of course, if you'd like to know more, then stay tuned. All right, so I hope you guys had a happy new year and that your year is starting off great and you know all that jazz so <laughs> just wanted to make sure i said that before i started into the video so tip number one is to plan 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 please plan <laughs> if you are creating your own website and you haven't started like a planning phase you have no idea what you're doing you're using wix squarespace uh, WordPress, you need to plan because if you don't plan your site ahead of time, you are going to get stuck. You are going to end up with a site that looks like it was created circa 1995. <laughs> and we do not want that. We want to make sure our sites are nice and clean and responsive or chaotic, whatever the feel you want to go for, but that it matches the aesthetic that you want to have. Now, my suggestion would be to use a planning tool. I like to use a Millinote to help me plan. I know that when I shared in my designing a Google site with a web designer, so with myself, I used Millinote and I also used this site here, which is Baseline. And Baseline is what I would consider my more or less the end point. Once you have your logo created, um, you definitely want to bring your information, like bring the logo into baseline to keep you organized. And I think that this is a great tool to help you know, like for your brand, what it is that you want to have, what colors you need to use, like all of that information you can have in Melanote, but I just prefer the look and aesthetic of how it shows up inside of a baseline. So definitely, definitely, definitely plan before anything. My next tip is to create a link page, like a link tree or a link in bio site if your website is not up and running. So on my screen now, I am actually sharing or showing you um, one of my link in bio sites that I have created. This is kind of a, a matching one that goes with the designer Google site design. So this is actually the designer Google site version for, um, the link in bio page but as you see it's very simple like a one page design really easy to understand has all the social media links listed here you can learn more view products graphics view web designs and a contact button that'll link to a contact form or maybe you want it to be your email address or something else i don't know but if your website is not ready my suggestion and I highly suggest this for those of you who have like a lot of content that you need to put on your site is to create a simple link in bio site. And if you're selling a product inside of your Google site, you can actually just add the product, add a link to said product, and then, you know, sell that product on your Google site. And just to give you an idea of what that's going to look like if you're selling a product, here is the naturalist which you are actually able to purchase this link in bio site in my etsy store and i do have more link in bio sites that will be coming soon to match all of my already existing google sites so they're kind of little add-ons um, for those of you who are interested maybe you don't need the full site but you want to have a link in bio site so this one matches the naturalist it is a link in bio site if you want to sell a service um, provide an ebook there's a link to the ebook you can just link directly to your google drive or if you're selling like an online course you can have the course listed and this is a stripe button so this will re redirect and open up in stripe and obviously again this is a test one so just remember that this is you're not actually getting anything but you are able to sell that service using a link in bio site if your website is not ready or if you just don't need a full site now my next tip is probably going to be something for those of you who are comfortable with working with html and css also 
you know, with someone who wants to use, say, a Google site, but really, really wants to have a custom homepage or custom website. My suggestion would be to have a fully, fully custom HTML, CSS styled homepage design and then use the full page embed feature for the homepage. I say this with caution because of SEO, but I also say this because if you are particular on your style, you know that you want to have a certain look that is not achievable in a standard Google site layout definitely look into getting a custom homepage. Now I have a ton of examples across here that I'm going to share with you or show you. So this is magazine layouts that I kind of found on uh, CodePen. So I just threw them inside of the Google site using the full page embed feature. And as you can see, a lot of them look pretty darn cool. Like this one looks pretty cool. But what is important is making sure that it is looking great on a mobile device, which will lead me to my next tip, which is to always, always, always design mobile first. So you see the layout that I have uh, added into here. Um, this one also being a code pin one. I like to use them as inspiration and examples for what you can do inside of your Google sites. I'm just going to show you the big full screen version of it. Um, so this one literally is a full page embed and then there's your mobile view and there's like your tablet view and it looks pretty good there are things that needs to be tweaked but for the most part it works well but it's important to remember whenever you're creating even with your standard google home page like a regular google page i get a lot of questions about like why does it look goofy when i have uh, when I created my Google site, it doesn't look as nice as yours. It doesn't do this or do that. And it's important to remember to design mobile first. So a little bit of a tip. Um, I'll show you this is Minolta Orange. As you can see, this is one of my more comprehensive designs that is just kind of like a part of my portfolio. So let's say you have this design in a perfect world when you are designing um, for your mobile side. This will stack obviously directly on top of here. And then this you'd shift so that it stacks on top of here. That way it goes image. Um, so image, text, image, text, or text, image, text, image, so that it doesn't get confusing when you're looking at it on a phone. But you can't actually do that in Google like this pattern here, because what ends up happening is it goes image, text, text, image so it does not shift the way that you would want um, if you're looking at it on a phone like a mobile device or something like that so here is what you'll see um, so image text and then text again and then image so it's disconnected when this needs to be above here so just keep that in mind you want to constantly be using the preview feature inside of your Google site so that you're able to make sure that you are designing mobile first. All right, so this is my final tip and this tip will come from mostly working in Google sites because you can do this um, marquee effect in pretty much any website builder and not have to deal with the scroll bars on the side showing up. But in Google Sites, you don't have that ability, especially when looking on a mobile device. So what I've done in here is I've added in one of the GIF backgrounds and I've made it super, super small so that I'm able to just add it in to this section and this section here. So that's two separate sections. For this, if you scroll down, I also have um, this GIF background in here. I like to use them sparingly um, on my Google sites. You are able to do the same, but what it does is it creates sort of um, a feel that you have videos on your site even when you don't. Now you are able to have videos that are not from Google inside, like not from YouTube inside of your Google site, but those will have to be hosted somewhere else and then shared to your Google site as a um, embed or like the custom HTML, CSS sort of deal in order for you to do that. But you can't set that as background. The only way to have a background is to use 
an image and the only thing they classify as an image file um, is like a regular PNG JPEG or the GIF for the background. So I do recommend if you want something with a little more sauce, a little more flavor, just check out using a uh, GIF background. And what you can do too is it doesn't have to be this large or sort of chaotic like this. Um, you can do something super subtle and I'll show you a nice a subtle one. So here is a nice subtle GIF background where you see it's kind of like the, the colors are moving that yellow and the orange have a little bit of color shift to them and that's because that's the style that they wanted for their site. And so I just added that into their Google site and it looks amazing so i'm really happy that i was able just to have that as a background so you don't have to have something super chaotic but you can have a similar effect if you are also looking to have this sort of look on your google site all right so as always thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to head on over to my etsy store right now you don't see any sales but I am actually going to have some sales that start today. And if you are signed up for my mailing list, you do receive a better deal when you purchase directly through me and not necessarily through my Etsy store. Um, but if you're looking for custom services, I do offer custom Google Sites services and those are also located inside of my Etsy store. But I'm going to shift it so that it's a little bit uh, makes it makes it clearer to find and so i will add that service to my website as well and that'll be starting soon um probably later today you'll be able to purchase you know custom google site design directly through me and again i'm very clear and transparent on what my custom services include especially if you have a site that is only about five pages all right so i do hope this video while a little bit longer was helpful with the tips and tricks so again if you have any questions please just let me know and of course laters